welcome to Selmat Machinery's Knowledge Base. Today we're going to be teaching you how to use a manual box and pan folder. First thing to get right is you will know what your material thickness is and you could take a small piece and place it um, on the front on the bottom bed. This beam here adjusts in and out um, to the material thickness. Also this beam here can be adjusted down and up if you want a bigger radius. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that when we're pressing that front tool, when this beam comes up, it doesn't crush the metal. We want a gap from the edge of this to the front of this tool, the same thickness of the material. So here is the handle that adjusts the beam backwards and forwards to suit the material thickness on the front of the machine. There is also another handle for the right hand side. So, once you've got your material thickness set on your top beam, you need to release these bolts here, and just underneath here is a, another bolt, which will either push the beam up or pull the beam down. Now, the bigger the radius you want, the further you take this beam down. So now we need to set the clamping. This is done with these two nuts here. We tend to leave these loose so that the next person can come along and easily adjust them to suit the job he's doing. But basically, this lever, as you can see me pulling it, needs to clamp onto the material and as you pull it and you pull harder, it should feel like a very good lock. Not too tight, not too loose. So, what you need to do is maybe adjust that one down and you'll feel superb locking. It's as though if you didn't get it right it would flop down and the other way it wouldn't pull and lock very well. So you've got to look so that it just nicely clamps it, nip that one back down and that would be a good position for this end. We're going to go and set the other end now and show you that as well. Okay again I'm going to slacken that one off a little bit, pull down on the clamp and that feels a little bit loose, so I'll tighten it up a little bit. Still feels a little bit loose, tighten it up a little bit more. And that feels perfect. You'll soon get used to the feel, um, because obviously if it's too tight it won't clamp, and if it's too loose, the job will push up when you try to fold it. Okay, I'm now setting the counterbalance, which will balance the beam so it doesn't make it difficult to lift the bottom beam up to fold the material. And this could take several attempts, but basically, if you pull the beam up and then move your knurled nuts into position and give them another try, if you feel it's still a little bit too heavy to pull the beam up, then drop them down a little bit more. So I place the material that I'm gonna fold there and to counterbalance the machine, I'm gonna have another piece, the other end. If it was a full length piece, I wouldn't need to. If I were folding in the middle, I wouldn't need to. But if I need to fold up one end, I'll place the material to be bent there and a piece of scrap the same thickness over there. So now we bring the machine down and we clamp. Bring the machine down and we clamp. We then pull the bottom beam up to the correct angle. There is an angle finder on the left hand side of the machine and that can be set so that you can repeat this fold time and time again. Nice and simple, nice and easy, all because we set the counterbalances correct for that fold. The tougher or the thicker the material, the more the counterbalances need to go up to give you more strength pull the beam up. 